Alright, so we're digging up some moss. going to get some succulents. These are hens and chicks. And when we pull them out, we're going to grab them down on the bottom of the base of the plant and gently wiggle it out, pull it, and make sure you get some roots. I'm going to do one of those. And then we have some different types of succulents in here and you want to get all the way down to the bottom of whatever succulent you're trying to pick and try to pull it out so you get kind of some roots. I'm going to do a couple of those. I'm just trying to find one that's close to not too high up from the patch here. <coughs> So I got a couple of those and I'm going to go look and see if I have another. All right. So I have another kind of succulent and I'm going to follow it down as close to where it's rooted as I can before I pull. There we go. So I've got three different types of succulents. And now we're gonna craft. Are you ready? Hi, welcome to Milk and Honey Heritage Farms. Today we're gonna be doing a fun project. So don't forget to hit that like, share, and subscribe. And I'm glad that you're here. I hope you're having a beautiful day. So today we're going to be working with some really thin wire, a tennis ball, some kind of cutting utensil like scissors, your safety, obviously, first. Some moss and some succulents, like hens and chicks and different kind of succulents. So you ready to get started? Oh, and some string. Um, you should have ho most of the stuff at home already um, or nearby, and it shouldn't cost you much money to make this project. And it's a very cute additive for hanging outside in a garden area where there's uh, some shade. You don't want to have this one in full sun. So let's get started. So let's get you to where you can see all my mess. I don't know. I feel like I should get you guys down just a little bit lower. So let me... I've got all my a bunch of crafting stuff and seeds and stuff going on on my table. I hope you guys are going to be trying to plant stuff, if not a whole bunch of stuff. I'm lowering my legs, so be patient. All right. There we go. Much better. Look at that. Fabulous. Okay. I think you're going to love this craft. The hardest part is um, cutting a ball. This was one of the dog's balls. It's a little bit tattered. I didn't go out and buy new ones. Anyway, so what you're going to want to do, and this is the hardest part, you're going to have to find some kind of scissors and be very, 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 very careful to puncture a hole three quarters up a tennis ball. So you're going to put a hole in it, just like this. And I kind of pre-cut it because I don't want you guys to see me on the struggle bus trying to cut the sub open. Okay. Anyway, so what you're going to do is once you puncture that hole in, you're going to use some kind of scissors or um, some pruning shears or something that will cut well. Be very careful. And you're just going to cut that top quarter of this tennis ball off. 
and it's a little, this is, like I said, it's the hardest part of the whole thing. And I pre-cut it because I didn't want y'all to watch. Anyway, so you got that little, like, top right there. Set the top aside. Now you have the bottom. If you can find some kind of little um, pot. Can you see that? A little pot. Or, uh, see, I should have one a little bit smaller, but I don't have one. You could use um, a soda bottle that would fit inside this tennis ball, um, small. And what you're going to do is you're going to put that little pot in here, just like that, okay? And then what we're going to do is I have some crafting wire. I don't know what gauge this is. It's extremely thin. Let's see if I can, can you see it? It's, it's almost like fishing line. You could use fishing line as well. Any really super thin wire. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to take, and I went outside and I got a big piece of moss that I thought would hopefully fit around this, okay? And I'm going to lay it upside down so that the roots and whatnot get wrapped around this little pot and ball. Okay, like that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my wire. And I'm going to place my clump of moss and ball and little cup on top of the wire and we're going to kind of loop the wire around to hold the moss into place and what you'll do is you'll twist it on the bottom and go as tight as you can without too, being too tight and then just kind of like you're wrapping a present I'm going to cut some of this extra wire off I might need to use more wire, but we'll see. Anyways, so what we're going to do, what we are doing, is you're just going to kind of go at different angles, and you're going to want to twist it to hold it into place. I think I'm going to go like this because I'm almost at the end of my wire. Everybody's is going to be different how you do it. It's really not that hard. The hardest part is... Um, cutting the top of that um, tennis ball off. So twist, give that a good twist. And then I'm gonna do another wire because I need to get this other um, side over here um, tied up. So I'm just gonna cut a piece and go underneath. And then I think twist it over here and just kind of try to get it, you know, twisted up to where it's holding in place. What will happen eventually is that the moss will um, start taking root um, to, around the pot and it'll grow around the pot and the ball. And the ball help hold some moisture in. Put a little couple little pieces of moss over here. Get another one more little string to wrap around there. And I mean, you might only have to do it like once. It just depends, you know, how much moss you have and all that. So I'm gonna go around this top part and see if I can twist this together. And just kind of twist this and just, you know, the best that you can do. All right. I've got a little bit of wire right there. Tuck in the end of the wire after you've twisted it together. Okay. So now you've got this little lovely ball of fun. 
Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some potting soil, or you can take um, some outside soil, whichever you have, or it's okay, either way. I've got some succulents I showed at the beginning of the video that I pulled out. I've got, um, can you see that? I've got this one. And then I've got these little tiny hens and chicks. And I've got two of these. Okay, so what I'm gonna do with this container now is I'm gonna put some soil into it. Soil from outside, whatever kind of soil you have. I'm gonna press it down the first half of the little pot. I'm gonna press it down. And then the rest of it, I'm just gonna lightly tap it in because you don't want it to be too firm because you want your roots to be able to get in there and get nice and rooted. We're gonna fill it all the way to the top, all the way flush with the even, flush with the top of the little pot. So that's what you're gonna wanna do. Okay, so then I've got my little succulents and I'm going to, you, you can use a pencil, you can use your finger, you're gonna make a hole for as long as the root of your succulent is. And I'm gonna hang that over the side. There's one. I've got four different ones. And I'm gonna put this one. Okay. And then I've got this one I'm gonna put over here. So I've got three of them, I'm kind of doing it. You can do it however you want. I wouldn't put too many, just because it is a pretty small container and these will fill in pretty good. And then I've got the hens and chicks that I'm gonna put in the middle. And then you're going to brush off any excess dirt that fell off the sides. And now that I've pushed this down, don't push it down too hard, just gently. See how my soil's gone down below the surface of the pot. You're gonna put carefully a little bit more soil to fill it up to that line, all right? This is a super cute idea. You can use it for in a garden area um, and whatnot. Okay, so there's that. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take some string and this string is, um, you can get it at the Dollar Tree store if you don't have any, so a buck 25 if you don't have any, you know, twine. Um, and so then what I'm going to do, I'm probably gonna cut a longer piece than I need. It depends on how, um, how low, how high the thing is, is that you're gonna hang it off of. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna, actually, what would be super cute is go around the lip, the lip of the, um, the rim of the pot. Sorry, I paused there for a minute. So go around the rim of the little pot and tie a knot, right? Like that. So you've got two strings going that way, just from that one string that you cut. So now cut a second string, approximately the same length as the first one you cut. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then you're gonna start from where you tied the knot and go around the rim of the little pot, just like that. Make sure your ends are about even with the string. And then you're gonna tie underneath the lip of the little pot, really tight, a knot, right? Okay, so you've got this one and this one and you're gonna bring them up. And 
making sure that they're even. Whoop. And so now they, now it wants me to go. Okay, I'm gonna move you back. Okay. And so you're gonna go and pull them evenly, the left side and the right side, and you're gonna tie a knot up at the top. See that knot? How cute is that? So you're gonna hang it off of something in some shade, and then you can use a spray bottle to mist it every once in a while, but this moss is gonna cling around the tennis ball, and now you've got a cute little hanging artsy tennis ball. Look at that. Isn't that cute? How adorable. I hope you guys give this a try. Please share with your friends, your family, whoever you want. And I hope you try it. Let me know if you try this project out. Um, this is really cute and it's worth trying. Have a beautiful day and I'll see you on the next one.